or talk to someone who's very like left wing when we start talking sometimes we'll both get to a point where oh hold on i need to think more about this because i didn't think that far you know which is a good thing for both of us because yeah. we're both trying to comprehend the situation you know and now goals are most likely the same thing like obviously we want the best for ourselves our family our community our people but we're just going in different paths and arriving at different locations so sharing is important yeah being open to share yeah it's trying to like on twitter a couple of times during the pandemic at the height of sort of all those uh, race riots in the states and stuff and you're just trying to to shine a light on a on a different perspective way of looking at it and um, you can really see how ingrained the thinking is with some people and um, they, they just don't have that ability to to be open and see a different perspective but um, yeah it's it's people have to to learn that themselves they can't be told, you know, you're so close-minded, and uh, you know, mm. why don't you, why don't you try and uh, do it my way? Yeah, why don't you try and be open to a different way of looking at it? Um, they need to come to that conclusion themselves. You know, for me, this pandemic has really opened my eyes up. Mm. Like I was, well, many people, yeah, yeah. I just, I feel like you know, I've just kind of been sleepwalking. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Through, through my life. Mm. And, you know, I accept that uh, every law that's been made is the right one. And, and, and even, you know, it's made me look at, at police enforcement differently, you know? Because, mm -hmm. you know, what, what happened in the States with George Floyd and, and, and also, you know, what happened in Melbourne. Like, um, Daniel Andrews turned Melbourne into a police state mm. and authorised, you know, uh, excessive, excessive, excessive force, um, rubber bullets, um, yeah, and... Going and, to people's houses and arresting... Yeah. For... Incitement. Yeah. And police officers are human too. They're emotional beings like we are. And sometimes they don't make the right decisions. Um, and even though get orders, well, yeah. Even though you're you're a policeman and and you legally you're allowed to have a pistol on your hip and a taser and and pepper spray and 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 all the stuff, um, you know, just you're still an emotional human being. And um, so you know, prior to the pandemic. Um, you know, oh, the the police obey the police. You know, the police are good. The police are well. You do your part, you know, in society. Yeah, basically, yeah. yeah? If you did your part and everyone did their part, it would be more harmonious. I think that's a view that people share. Well, yeah, I just I, I probably was a little bit blind and and naive to think that you know you know we can trust the police. Like I I knew. Um, like a hundred percent. Yeah, like I knew there's a little bit of corruption every now and again, but you know, on the whole, you know, you can trust police and, and all this kind of stuff. And now it's like, yeah, at the end of the day, police have good days and bad days, like we all do, mm. and they may make decisions um, in certain moments that aren't the right ones, and so you know, they're flawed. And we're all flawed. Yeah, and human. We're all the process is flawed, and yet we all instill this confidence in a system that we're supposed to follow. Um, but yeah, so uh, I just think um, the way that I critically think about things more now is way more than what I used to. Um, and and that's a transformative change because, um, you know, 46 years of my life, I didn't do that. I just lived my life following rules and, and, and assuming mm. a whole lot of things. And now 
Um, I, I will never. A bit live, of wisdom. I won't live. I won't live my life like Question. I used to. You just have questions. You know, questions. Question, question things. And it's important. Sometimes questions have answers that make sense, which is good. Sometimes they don't make sense. Yeah, but I think, like you said, it, it's so. It's the most important is to question. Don't just if it doesn't make sense. Yeah, just you have to question it if it doesn't make sense. Mm-hmm. Um, Questioning can make change too, mm. especially if enough people question the same thing. Yeah, and then the discussion happens. <laughs> Exactly, and you know, there, there's certain sort of laws in in life uh, that the system has made, which makes sense. You know, drinking and driving. You know, mm. and we know that if you drink alcohol and you try to um, operate machinery or, or a vehicle, then yeah, you're you, a danger to you're the a public. danger to not only yourself but the public, mm-hmm. and that's that's a law that. Makes sense. Makes sense. You can't question that. But then there's other laws that are not quite so clear cut. And, you know, it's important that we question those Mm -hmm. um, and we um, critically think about these things and, uh, and, uh, yeah, just don't, just don't settle. And even though we don't, you know, we don't think it's entirely right, you've still got to question it. There's a reason though. Yeah. You've got a reason why it doesn't feel right. Mm. Feel right. So to explore that reason is important because there could be a crack in that idea. Yes. 